In this video, I wanna show you how you can start using the what if analysis in Power BI. We're gonna go through it step by step together if you want to follow along. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this Power BI file that I prepared for you today. So here is a sample sales Power BI file that I prepared, which has a bar chart here that has the total sales by year. If you go to the model view, uh, or the data view, you will see that the sales table is the only table that we have here, which has some information about sales. So we have some information about what product it is, um, how many were bought through the quantity, the unit price, how big the size uh, the deal is, um, and also some information about the customer. Besides the sales table, we also have some pre-created tables uh, that we have that we use for all of our Power BI reports. So we have the calendar table, which is what we use for all of our time intelligence calculations. We also have a measures table here where we have um, where we store all of our measures that we use for uh, this report. From the calculations, we have one measure that we'll be using today, the total sales. This is what we're using in the bar chart, which essentially just creates uh, a calculation. Uh, it multiplies the quantity against the unit price. So at the moment, we're only showing the total sales by year in our bar chart here. And let's say we want to add the ability to show how the total sales would look like based on a uh, different types of percentage. So how it would look like if it was 10% higher. Um, and we don't want to just set that. We want Want to give that ability to uh, adjust the percentage to our users now this is where typically the what if analysis um, would be used for so to start we'll go to the modeling here and from the what if section of this ribbon we'll click new parameter this will allow you to add a what if parameter in your report so we'll uh, name our parameter here so we'll name it uh, sales percentage we'll change it to a decimal number and i'll show you why that is um, so at the minimum we want it to be one and uh, the value to be one the maximum to be two so we want to go up to a uh, hundred percent the increment here we want to put 0 0.1 and default value to be one we also want to make sure that the add slicer to this page is checked. That will add just a slicer for us um, to work with initially. If we hit OK, you'll see that it creates a slider for us to work with. So it has the sales um, and a slider that goes from one to pretty much two. So exactly what we've created. And you'll see that it goes on increments of 0.1 because that's what we set. Besides the slicer, it's also pre-created us some interesting stuff in our data model. So it's created us a uh, calculated table here, which has created using the generate series DAX function. Now I haven't really covered this one yet, but it essentially just creates a uh, table and it generates a series within that table based on what you write here. If we go to the table view here, I can show you what that means. So what it does is it just creates the, um, the series of what we um, defined here. So it goes from one to two. And within this sales percentage um, calculated table, we also have a measure that is created here, uh, which uses selected value. This measure is what we'll use as a parameter to control the total sales. I'll show you how to do that now. If you go back here and we'll create a new measure here. So from here, we'll type total sales percentage and we'll put total sales, which has our total sales. And then we multiply it by the value that we have there as a measure. So we'll select that measure and we'll hit enter. Now what we'll do is we'll add this measure that we have created total sales percentage into our table here now you'll see that it shows us the exact same numbers as the total sales because we set the default value to one now if i start moving this slider you'll see that this 
uh, data slightly changes. So now um, it does the total sales multiplied by 1.1. So basically show me the 10% 10, 10 right and that's how easy it is to start using the what if parameter in Power BI. Now let's say we want to um, change the granularity here of our slider. We don't want it in 10% increments but actually we want it to, to be 1% uh, increments. What we can do is we can go back to the sales calculated table that we have and we'll change the last part of this to 0 0.1 which is 0 0.01 that changes the incremental values of the sliders into 1% And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how to start using the what if parameters within your Power BI reports. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.